Hey guys, it's Chloe. What is up? I love you guys. Um, so as you can see from the title, I'm pretty much just making a quick makeup tutorial for school, just one I do every day. It's simple and easy and anyone can do it. I use lots of drugstore products in this tutorial, so if you guys want to see how I get this natural, simple look, then just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is take three-ish pumps of my Clinique Dramatically Different gel. Mom! Stop yelling! Stop yelling! Next, I'm gonna take my super dirty Makeup Forever Step 1 base corrector primer and just kind of like, you know, do that. And I'm just blending this out with my finger. I'm putting it like in the red spots like where I applied it first and then I'm just like blending it out to the rest of my face pretty much. So next, because usually in the morning for school I'm really rushed, I'm just gonna take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Makeup Foundation thing in 120 Creamy Ivory. And this stuff is so fast, you just gotta give it a little twist a -roo. Bitch. And then I just kind of like, you know, coat my face. And then I just use my Real Techniques buffing brush and just buff it in. This stuff blends like no other, so it makes it super, super easy to just buff it in on the go, like, real fast, like, like, it looks really pale on me, but it's really not. My eyelids, I'm so tired, apparently. So as you guys can see before, my face is pretty, like, red, but, like, what the heck? But, like, this is, like, actually, like, a decent coverage, like, it's still really lightweight, like, you can barely feel it, but it's still a decent coverage. So, keeping on the whole Instant Age Rewind sort of thing, I got the Instant Age Rewind Dark Circles Eraser, um, and this is in Light Slash Pale, and just, you know, give myself a good old coating, and I'm gonna just highlight the high points of my face. And then I go in with this brush again, my buffing brush, because it's the fastest for me instead of sitting there and fucking like dotting it out. This just goes fast, gets the shit done. So once that's all blended out, I am just going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder, and I got mine in Wa 11 Creamy Natural, and I'm just going to take this still fluffy brush and just pat that all over my face. And um, I heard like good things about this um, powder, but I just had never really gotten the chance to try it. And it is actually really, really, like, really good. Like, quite impressive. Like, solid 9.5 out of 10. And I just kind of rub this over my whole face because the product I'm using next is quite shimmery. The next product is e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. And as you can see, I use a lot of this. Um, I literally just take this and put it on my whole face. And you guys are probably like, Chloe, what the fuck? But, like, this is how I... Stay tan. Gives me a nice, uh, golden bronze. <sighs> Where the fuck is it? So, the next product is my Milani Baked Powder Brush in 05 Luminoso. And I'm in love with this. I use this every day. Taking the same brush as the one I did before. It's quite pigmented, so I just kind of take, like, one swipe and kind of, like, Flick it off. Put some of that on there. Oh god, that's way too much. 
And now I go in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium Deep and my Real Techniques Contour Brush. Take a little dab of that on my cheekbones, temples, forehead, and my jawline. Also, if I want to look a lot more like bronzy, I just take a little dip on this brush and go in like that, just with more of like a wide surface. And I especially like doing that on my forehead, just to really bronze up the area. And I take the access that's on this brush and just rub a little bit down the sides of my nose, just to give it some definition. Now, as you guys might know, I save my highlight to last because it's like, I think it's like a placebo thing where like I think that if I leave it to last, it'll be more like prominent. So I just leave that to last. I also am very fond of setting my face after every step pretty much. Like after I do my foundation and my powders, I like to give myself a spray of my Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray and it's in this bottle because I was traveling. So... Oh no, no. They said I had bad brows, but I don't give a fuck. No, no. So I'm just taking this um comb thing and just combing through my eyebrows. And then I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna need a mirror for this. I'm just gonna fill them in with my NYX eyebrow gel in espresso. And with my eyebrows, I really try to make them like not super thick anymore. That used to be my shit, but now I'm just sort of like, yo, like, I don't got time for this, like, I don't want to do this shit. Why now? Like, the one time you want to talk to me, it's now? Lord help me. Mute. I ain't got the time. Hey, if my daddy. Ooh, yes. <laughs> so I just kind of like throw some product on. Cross my fingers, hope for the best. Comb them out. And there you go. I'm gonna just do the other one and I'll be right back. They're sisters, not twins. Honestly, like, I don't even think you guys are related. How did this happen? Oh my god. Oh my god. So, as I have used in every single one of my videos, I use the Makeup Forever Professional Star Powder. It's like a pigment. It's really nice. I really like it. I just shake it and then use whatever is on the inside of the lid. It's very nice and easy, blendable, pigmented. It's just, oh my god, I'm so fucking itchy. It's just like super nice. And I have greenish eyes, so I like to use copper products because, well, copper and orange, because it makes them pop and look very nice. So once that base is sort of just laid down, I um, I take this Lancome like four palette. It has those four. This one has like literally nothing in it. Oop. And I take this orangish coppery shade, take a bit of that, and just kind of throw it in the crease, throw it on the eye a bit, blend it up. I'm so like messy with my eyeshadows. It's retarded. And I also just add a tiny bit to my lower lash line. And then I put the white color, which you can't even see. I put a little bit of this white color in my inner corners because then I take my Becca, or I might use a different one today. 
and I just put that over top of it. It just adds more color, I guess. So guys, unveiling a new product. I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated. Okay, let me just like... Look at that puppy. This stuff is crazy. Um, I don't know how it's even real. And I just, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take a lot of it apparently and just uh, put it on my inner corners. Seriously though, like why aren't you replying to me? Ugh. Now I'm gonna take this Sephora eyelash curler. I remember I made fun of Kirsten once for using it on my videos because she's like, this is my Sephora eyelash curler and I just made fun of her. So ha ha, fuck you Kirsten. I'm just kidding, I love her. We're having a video. I know that I keep saying, oh my god, so me and Kirsten have a video that are like being uploaded in like a day. And I know I said that in my last video and I'm saying it again now. But it's because it's 18 minutes long and it's gonna take literally forever to upload. And I tried uploading it and kept saying, error preparing upload. And I was like, um, error, shut the fuck up. Oh, I just got mascara all over the carpet. Sorry, mom. So I'm using the telescopic mascara with this little wandy thing and just gonna comb that through my eyelashes. This stuff adds so much volume. I don't know which one I like better, this one or like the Lash Sensational. The Lash Sensational gives more of like a fan effect. This one gives more of like a clumpy, well not clumpy, but like it's a lot like fuller I think like in my opinion um and I I like that like I I don't know how to describe my like describe my style like I'd like to say that I'm like grungy like that's what I like to go for but who knows depends if I'm feeling like being natural or not I'm usually not why is there literally like four fruit flies attacking me right now also you guys I'm getting paid soon on the 15th, I think, which is on Thursday. So this weekend, I think I might go to Mayfair and um, go to Sephora. And um, I'll probably do a haul for you guys soon, actually. I was gonna do like a drugstore haul, but then I thought, eh, does anybody even wanna see that? I'm doing a Sephora haul for sure. Um, but if you guys wanna see a drugstore haul, I could, um, do that as well for ya. Cause I have like a bit of like money right now and I am gonna continue having a bit of money. Um, also my school schedule has changed like drastically. Um, so I have to talk about that in a video too. I just have so many ideas and I'm gonna have so much more time to make videos guys. Like I'm not gonna be as shitty as I am. Like I'm gonna actually like pull my shit together hopefully for sure. So next, I'm taking the Becca highlighter in Opal. And since I've been really feeling the um, glow to the gods lately, I'm taking this fluffy brush, these two highlighters, and a makeup setting spray. And I'm going to spray my cheeks and then lay it on. So I'm just gonna, a slight little mist, run it through there and boom. And I like to take mine up here as well. Guys. <laughs> Is anybody else wet? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Don't you wish your girlfriend was highlighted and a beautiful glazed donut like me? Uh. Now I'm going to spray again, but like slighter. Just like a little like spritzy spritzy. And I'm going to take the naked highlighter rub a shit ton on my brush and just go for it. Yeah. And then I just take this eyeshadow brush, get a little bit of my opal, put it on the tip of my nose, down my nose, Cupid's bow, and a tiny bit on my chin. And if I'm feeling a little bit fancy, I'll put on this Annabelle Buff lip liner and a lip gloss. Just any gloss is fine. But overall, this is my everyday school look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe. I'll be posting more videos more frequently. All my social media will be linked down below. And I love you guys all so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.